What's up guys, this is Matt and up for review today is the OCZ VX500. This is an MLC based SSD that's going to be well suited for anyone who needs an SSD that can handle a lot of writes. But before we get too deep into specifications, let's take a quick physical tour of the device and its packaging. Inside the box we find some paperwork as well as the SSD itself enclosed in plastic. The SSD itself features an exposed aluminum enclosure with a dimpled texture. On the front of the drive we find a small OCZ logo and on the back we find some basic product information and identification. In terms of design, I'm not the biggest fan of the way this drive looks but this is obviously a subjective observation that I'm sure many of you will disagree with. Something to also note is that the Toshiba logo appears both on the box and the drive itself. Itself. Toshiba, which acquired OCZ a few years ago, has done an amazing job to set OCZ back down the path of greatness and has allowed the two storage companies to share technologies which has resulted in better products at a better price. This drives a great example of this as the VX500 is replacing the Vector 180 in OCZ's lineup. The Vector 180 used a very outdated controller which has been replaced with one of Toshiba's controllers which is newer and performs better. Unlike many of the budget TLC SSDs on the market, this MLC base drive can sustain a very impressive amount of writes. My 512GB sample is rated at being able to withstand 162GB of writes a day for 5 years or in total 296 terabytes. It's able to maintain this impressive write performance while also staying reasonably fast for a SATA base SSD with a rating of up to 550 megabytes per second reads and 530 megabytes per second writes. In terms of pricing, for the 512 gigabyte model seen here, you can currently pick it up on Newegg for $194, pricing it squarely between OCZ's budget TR150 and its enthusiast PCIe SSD, the RD400, my review of which can be found in the link in the description now below. This drive also comes in variants as low as 128 gigabytes for $75 and as high as 110 terabyte for $350. I think this drive is priced fairly seeing it's giving you a mix of budget and enthusiast features and capabilities. In terms of tests, I decided to put this drive through a few synthetic and real world tests to see its performance which will both be displayed on screen now and the numerical results will be posted in the description down below. So without further ado, here are the benchmarks. So, as you can see, this drive performs as expected or better in all of the tests. This is very reassuring and shows that the numbers OCZ is claiming are actually achievable. Overall, this mid-ranged MLC SSD is offering some great enthusiast features at a respectable price. So who should buy this? I think anyone who needs a reliable SSD that can take a lot of writes should seriously consider picking up the VX500 as it should last much longer than many budget options and is backed by OCZ's impressive 5 year warranty. Though not my favorite, the look of this drive is very unique and could fit perfectly displayed in some of your builds. Overall, OCZ and Toshiba are offering a reasonably good value for the money and I give this drive my recommendation for a mid tier SSD. So yeah guys, this wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.